Hi friends, you're welcome to Lizama Stitches. My name is Amaka. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a short dress. So let's get started. So this is the fabric I'll be using. My fabric is folded into two. And I have my front panel and the back panel here. Now this is the front panel and this is the back panel. I've drawn some lines already. This is the this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. This is the this is my waist point. This is my hip point, and this is the full length of the dress. This is my hemming allowance. Now I'm going to start by taking my shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2 gives you 7 inches. So I'm going to mark 7 inches here. 7 inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 7.5 inches here. Now this is 7.5 inches. I'm going to take my neck measurement. The front neck width. The front neck width is 4 inches. And the front neck depth is 4 inches. It's also 4 inches. I'm going to slit the front. So I'm going to come down by 3 inches. Because I don't want it to be too open. So from this 4 inches, I'm going to mark 3 inches for my next slit. For the slit. So the, now the back neck width, the back neck width is also 4 inches and the back neck depth is 1 inch. So I'm going to connect it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is from this shoulder point, now this is my shoulder line, from this shoulder point, from this mark, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. You know, our shoulder is not entirely straight. So I'm going to come down by one inch. I'm going to connect this point to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is to impute my armhole measurements. My armhole measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. From this point, I'm going to mark 8 inches. So this is my 8 inches. Now to confirm if... I want to be sure that this line is accurate. 7.5. This 7.5 inches I have here, I'm also I'm bringing it down here. So from here to here is 8 inches. Now this is my 8 inches. So I'm going to extend this line and I'll connect this line. This I'm going to connect this point to this point. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. But before I do that, I'm going to take my bust measurement on this line. Now this is my chest point. I'm going to take my bust measurement on my chest point. My bust measurement is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here. So 9.5 inches plus 1 inch for ease gives you 10.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 10.5 inches here. 10.5 inches plus 1 inch plus 1 inch seam allowance. Now this is my 1 inch seam allowance. So now... I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. Now, this is the midpoint of this line. From this midpoint, I'm going to go in by three quarter of an inch to for me to be for, to create my front armhole. I'm going to go in by three quarter of an inch. So this is my three quarter. So 
I'm going to connect this point to this point. And I'll connect this point to this point. So this is my front armhole. Now for, for, for the back armhole, I'm going to connect this point to this point. I'm not going to go inside. I'll just connect this point to this point. So this is my back armhole. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to take my waist measurement i'm going to take my waist measurement on my waist point my waist circumference is 32 inches 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches 8 inches plus 1 inch for ease gives you 9 inches so this is 9 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance gives you 10 inches so this is my seam allowance now on the hip point i'm going to take my hip measurement now my hip circumference is 40 inches 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 inches, plus 1 inch for ease, gives you 11 inches. So this is 11 inches, plus 1 inch seam allowance. This is my seam allowance. Now the same measurement I have here, the same measurement I have here, I'm going to bring it down here. Now my hip measurement, the hip circumference is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 inches. Plus 1 inch for ease gives you... Plus 1 inch for ease gives you 11 inches. So I'm going to mark 11 inches here. Plus 1 inch seam allowance. Plus 1 inch seam allowance. So the same thing I did there, I'm going to do it here. Eleven plus one inch seam allowance. So I'm going to connect. Now I'm going to connect this point to this point, this point to this point, and this point to this point. Now this is how I'll do it. This point I'm going to connect with my hip curve. I'll connect this point to this point. So, this is just it. Now, I'm going to cut it. But I'm going to start by cutting the back. After cutting the back, I'll cut the front. Now, for my pocket, this dress is going to have pockets. From this waist point, I'm going to come down by 2 inches. Now, this is my pocket. And my pocket, from this, I'm going to mark 7 inches because my pocket is going to be 7 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to, I'm going to, I'm going to mark my shoulder. Now I'm going to mark my shoulder allowance. I'm going to use half inch for my shoulder allowance. So I'll start by cutting the back. Now to cut here, I'm going to fold here. I'm going to fold it in. And I'll cut. finished cutting the back now after cutting don't forget to notch I'm going to notch the waist the pocket the hip the pocket and the 
and the seam allowance, the hem, the hemming allowance. So after that, I'm going to separate the front from the back. So I'm going to finish the front. So I'm going to cut the front. Now this is my pocket. I've cut out the pocket already. I have four pieces here. Now in case you don't know how to cut your pocket, you need to watch my video on how to make a short kimono bubu dress. Or you watch my how to make an A-line dress with cold shoulder sleeve. In those two videos, you are going to see how to cut your pocket. In case you don't know how to cut your pocket. So this is my pocket. And these are my sleeves. My sleeve is going to be a bell sleeve. The sleeve is made up of basic and circle. Basic sleeve and circle. Now, this is my basic sleeve. I've cut out the basic, basic sleeve already. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. In case you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve, I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can check it out later. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut the circular part of the sleeve. Now this one is, now the length of this sleeve is 10 inches. Now the length of my sleeve is 15, it's supposed to be, it's going to be 15 inches. Now I have 10 inches here already. So I'm going to cut 5 inches here. I'm going to show you how to cut the circular part of the sleeve in case you don't know how to do that. This fabric is folded into 2. I'm going to fold it again into 4. So, now the round sleeve, the round sleeve, my round sleeve is 10 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance gives you 11 inches. So I'm going to divide 11 by, 11 divided by 6.28 because it's going to be a full circle. So 11 divided by 6.28 gives you 1.75, that is 1 3 quarter. But I'm not going to use 1 3 quarter, I'm going to approximate it to 2 inches. So I'm going to mark 2 inches here. So this is my 2 inches. The length of the circle, the length of the circle is 5 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance gives you 6 inches. Now 1 inch seam allowance, I'm going to use half inch to join this part to the, to the basic sleeve. And I'm going to use half inch to hem the lower part of the sleeve. But you can decide to use 1 and half inches for your seam allowance, which you're going to use half inch to join the, to join the circular part to the basic sleeve. And you use one inch to hem the, the lower part of the sleeve but i want to use half inch so i'm going to mark six inches here so now i'm going to mark half inch here i'm going to mark half inch seam allowance here because when i mark half inch seam allowance when i sew i'm still going to fall back on this line so i'm going to mark half inch seam allowance So I'll cut it. So this is it. So this is it. Now with this one, I'm going to cut the second one. I'm going to use this to cut the second one. So I told you that the front has, the front has a slit. So I'm going to slit the front. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to show you how to attach the pocket. Now this is how to attach the pocket. Now this is the right side of my fabric and this is the right side of the pocket. I'm going to place the pocket on the fabric right side facing right side and I'm going to sew it. I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'll sew it. I'll sew it this way. After sewing, I'm going to turn it this way and top stitch. So the same way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this other side and I'm going to do the same thing on the back panel. So I'll do it and after doing it, I'm going to show you how to join your dress together. 
Now this is the pocket. I've so I've joined the pocket. Now this is the back panel, and this is the right side of the back panel. So I'm going to bring the front panel. I'm going to place the front panel on the back panel, right side facing right side. Now this is the right side of the front panel. I'm going to place it together this way and I'll take it to my sewing machine. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by joining the shoulder. After joining the shoulder, I'm going to sew this part. Hope you're seeing what I'm doing. I'm going to now, this is what I'll do. This is how I'll join it. I'm going to join it this way. I'll sew it this way. And I'll sew this part. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to bring the front part, the back, back panel and front panel, right side facing right side. And I'm going to sew it. I'll sew it this way. Now, after that, now this is my sleeve. I've joined the circular part to the basic sleeve. Now, this is it. This is my sleeve. Now, I'm going to decorate my sleeve with bias. Now, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to sew, I'm going to start by, now this is it. I'm going to sew the wrong side. Now, this is the wrong side of my sleeve and this is the bias. I'm going to sew it this way. I'm going to sew it from the wrong side. When I sew it from the wrong side, then I'm going to turn it to the right side. I'm going to turn it to the right side and top stitch and top stitch so the same thing i'm going to do to this sleeve i'm going to do to the other sleeve now after that i'm going to, i'm going to decorate the neck i'm going to design the neck with this bias now this is how i'm going to do it i'm going to sew from the inside now this part i'm going to sew from the inside i'll sew it this way when i sew it from the inside i'm going to turn it to the front and i'll top stitch and I'll do the same thing here. After that, I'm going to I'm going to take it to the to the neck. Now, I'm going to sew from the wrong side. I'm going to sew it from the wrong side. When I sew the wrong side, I'm going to sew it round. After that, I'm going to turn it. I'll turn it to the right side and I'll top stitch. So after doing that, I'm going to have something like this. I'm going to do it in such a way that I'll have something like this. That I'm going to tie at the front. I'm going to tie it at the front. I'll tie it at the front. Now this part. This part that is open like this. This part that is open like this. I'm not going to leave it this way. I'm going to fold it into two. I'm going to fold it and top stitch. I'm going to fold it into two and sew it. I'll sew it this way just to hide this, this part of the bias. So I'm going to sew it. Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Now after that, I'm going to attach the sleeve. I'll attach the sleeves. And I'll show you the finished. I'll show you the finished look of the dress. So I'll do it and show you what this dress looks like. So this is my dress. I'm done sewing. So this is the neck. This is what I was telling you about. So I'm going to tie it this way. So this is it. Now another thing I did, uh, it was to hem here. I've hemmed the lower parts. I've hemmed the lower parts. And I've attached to the sleeve and this is it. So I'm going to rock this dress and show you what it looks like. Now if you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel to support me. Subscription is free. Subscription is free. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.